So you want to download and play the Stalker Call of Pripyat co-op mod. And let's say you have, but you just can't get it to work. Well, I'm going to go from start to finish how I and my friend got it to work for us. It's a bit of a process, but I've been asked a couple times by people to see uh, what I do to get it to work, and that's what I'm going to show you. So, what we're going to do, before we even download anything, is we're going to go into our local disk drive. And inside this local disk drive, we're going to create a new folder, and you can name it whatever you want. I named it Stalker Co-op. In here is where we're going to end up downloading the folder, which it will give us right here, the X-Ray Multiplayer Extension. But you aren't going to have that. All you need to do right now is just create a folder in your local disk drive and name it whatever you want. Do not put it in your program files. After you've got that folder, we'll move on to the next step. The next step is pretty simple. We're going to go to this website, which I have linked in the description of this video. We're going to go to this website, and we're going to click Download. That's going to bring up the installer, which you can just put it on your desktop, doesn't matter. It will ask you where you want to install it, and we are going to put it in our folder that we just created, which it should give us this folder. Inside that folder, you should have everything here. After that, I'm going to have you run the XRMPE Launcher Updater. This is going to bring up your launcher and update it, and it's going to ask you to download like a 7 gigabyte uh, update for the launcher itself. Go ahead and let that run and download everything it asks you to. It may have a pop-up saying you need Windows Desktop Runtime. Go ahead and click Yes and let it download. After you've got all that downloaded, go ahead and run your launcher, and it should bring up this menu. Now, for you, if you click play, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to bring anything up. Nothing's going to work. What you need to do is you need to go into add-ons, and you're going to have these here. You're going to want to go to the Call of Pripyat co-op and turn it on. This is what activates the Call of Pripyat main campaign and makes it available for you and others to play. Then, after you have that, you're going to go here, and you can set uh, cooperative. You're gonna you have defense and you have cooperative to play the Call of Pripyat campaign with friends. You want to set it to cooperative, and then you can choose your difficulty and all that. This is the number of players that you can have, all the way up to four, all the way down to one. If you want to play it by yourself, you can set a password and a name for a server here. So after you have your add-on activated, you've put all this in. This is saves from whatever you'll have in the game and you've got your number and all that set, do not click play. We're not at that point yet. Um, unless you can speak Russian, unlike me, I cannot. You can go into your settings here and click the launcher language, game language. I have it set to English. We are actually going to need to download one more file because Call of Pripyat does not have English subtitles, or at least this version of it does not. So I'm going to leave another link in the description for a Google Doc that you will need to download a file from. That file is right here. It is the xxenglish.db. Once you download that file, we're going to go into our X-Ray multiplayer extension, which is whatever folder you named it. And here, we're going to go into Game, Localization, and drop it right here with this other file, xrussian.db. We'll just drop it in there. That will make it so that you will have English dialogue and subtitles, if you wish to have the subtitles. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Server. And then you're going to call a Pripyat Co-op, and you're going to click Create Server. For me, I'll just click on a save I already have. But you're going to create your server. It's going to bring this little pop-up. It's going to take a little bit. But then it's going to bring this up. This is your server that you are hosting on your computer. And I'm going to go ahead and place a little box over my IP address because I don't want that out there. But right now, our current server is currently up and running. Gives you all the specs. Now, your external address here is your IP. That is not going to be entirely relevant because we're going to have to use an external program 
which I will also link in the description to create our own link, so to speak. So while you do have a server open, they do need your IP address. Well, you're going to need something that will be able to create a LAN between everyone who wants to play. What we use is Hamachi. Log me in Hamachi. So I will leave a link in the description for this as well for you to download. Once you have Hamachi it installed, you should be able to click on it and it'll bring up this menu. Now you will click the power on button and it should create, you should be able to create a little group that you can invite others to. And this group is how you will be connected through LAN. Now what they're going to do, you, all you need to do is have it on and th this is all for them to get your computer's IP. They're going to right click on your computer and they're going to copy the IPv4 address. After they have that, you can then go back to the home page and we can finally click play. After a short little introduction of a screens, we will then get to this menu, which is the main menu for the co-op mod. So we're going to go ahead and we'll click play. You'll put whatever nickname you want. But the best way I have found to be able to connect is through direct IP. Now, if you are hosting the server, if you are hosting it in this IP port, you will type localhost. And then if you had a password set, you'll put the password in there. That is how you will connect to the server you are hosting. If your friends are trying to connect to you, that IPv4 address they got from Hamachi is what they will post in here. And then click OK. And as you can see, we're in the game. My buddy Cole is not with us, so his character is just going to stand there. But there you go. Now we're in game. Now, whoever is hosting... You definitely will have to have a stronger computer than the others who will be joining you since your computer will be taking the stress of running the game for them. The benefit of this is should any of you crash, even if you are the host of the server, as long as the server is up, the game will be still running for everyone else. And there you have it. That's all you should need to be able to get the game running and play with your friends. If you have any questions, put a comment down below. I will do my best to help you. Um, I am not a creator of the mod. This is just the process me and my friend found worked for us, and hopefully it will work for you as well. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.